guys. Oh, gosh. I don't have a very good shirt on for the tie, but as good as I can be. Thank you. Oh. Okay. We've got uh, we've got a wonderful press conference and announce, announcements here in regard to the great work that these great people here are doing, primarily with the DNR, our director, Steve McDaniel, and all the unbelievable stuff that you've done and uh, that we've been able to do within West Virginia. Now, I'm not going I'm to steal his thunder. I'm going to let him talk. But I want you to just think just this way. And then in just a second, I'm going to introduce you know, Chelsea Ruby to you. But just think this way. The arm of the DNR provides a conduit to tourism and or tourism to the DNR that gives us all kinds of goodness and all kinds of opportunities. Now, perfect example is just this. The more land that we have that is managed within the DNR system or the state, the more opportunities to come and hike and hunt and fish and go to our parks and all the different things we, we have. Well, you're going to hear about growth. You're going to hear about upgrades to our facilities, which we've done all across the universe with our parks. It's phenomenal. You're going to hear about trout stockings that would blow you away. I said in the state of the state, 2.7 million trout since I walked in the door. Now, even I could catch some of them, you know. If you got 2.7 million, you got a pretty good chance. The other thing is we started stockings on the weekends too, on Saturday stockings. We also have started a program, and I'm on our director Steve big time about this, that, that, does, that accomplishes just this. And he tells me we're getting better and better and better at this. But absolutely, we want people, we want people to be able to come to our streams the day after the day after and still have many opportunities to catch fish. And to do so, we've got to spread the fish out. We can't just roll up with very limited amount of labor and dump them in four or five different holes and expect them to go on their own. They will, you know, if we gave them a month, but the problem is a lot of them leave that day. And so, the net of the whole thing is we're trying in every aspect, whether it be our elk herd or on and on and on, we're trying in every way to make things better. For crying out loud, it's unbelievable what they're doing with our native brook trout, you know, all across our state. It, there'll be so many things they will not possibly be able to tell you about them all. You know, just think, and this goes into Chelsea's department as well as Steve's, but just say, this, this, is the, this is the figure that blows your mind. Our amount of growth, of tourism growth, last year was 58% above the national average. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And it's because we have great people that are administering the programs and they're after it. And they're stuck on on. And they got a great big guy behind them that's pushing them and understands what they're doing and wants to try to help. So with all that, I'd like Steve McDaniel to come up and talk to you and tell you just a lot of the great stuff that's going on combined with license being up and everything else on the sun. Well, I'm gonna let I'm gonna I'm gonna have Chelsea come in just one second. Well, uh, thank you, Governor. Uh, thank you all for being here today. Um, as I have said many times, my boss sitting here to the left of me told me when I got this job that I was to partner up with that young lady sitting there and 
use the West Virginia Division of Natural Resources not only to, for, for the betterment of the sportsmen and women in West Virginia, but to drive tourism. And some of the things that we're here to talk about today is just that, some of the promotions that we've done. Um, as the governor alluded to earlier, you talk about land, you talk about the state of the state address. One of the one things that we see in our surveys over and over is not enough public land for hunting. And under his administration, we've added over 70,000 acres of new public hunting land. And over the next year, we're hoping to add some more. And that's significant because from what I have, from, I'm going back into the records, Governor, I have never seen more than 10 or 20,000 acres ever being added dur during administration. So I think that's really significant. And what we have been doing with those land purchases is about our staff at the DNR are constantly looking for different ways to attract out-of-state hunters. And we know that in certain parts of the state of West Virginia, like near Ohio and places like that, we didn't have a lot of public hunting land. We just added over 30,000 acres along the Ohio Valley in the Ward Jackson County area. It's going to really make it really conducive for hunters in Ohio to come over. Uh, one of the other things that we had did, as the governor said, you know, with the stout, trout stalking has always been a favorite thing for folks in West Virginia. But with the invention of the smartphones, it's easy for someone to see a stalk truck going down the road. And before you know it, everybody in town knows. And as the governor said, if you stalk on Monday, by the time Friday gets there, the, the hole's been hit pretty hard. So under his direction, we're in the process. We've, we've purchased some new trucks, and, we're, and we're, we're hiring some new staff, and we're working with our water set association. And we'll actually have six people on every truck, Governor, that will be spreading these fish out a couple of hundred yards every stop. Every stop. Good and and that'll, that'll start with all of our weekly stocking. So we're excited about that. We're also in the process. Wait a minute. Yes. Listen, hold up. Okay. You've got to know this from a guy that has now got white hair and broke up, but used to have brown hair and was skinny. And I have crawled around on every trout stream just about in the state of West Virginia. And absolutely, this is really significant. To think you're going to have six people on the trucks and six people are going to genuinely really stock the streams. For people that are trout fishing and everything, that is amazing. So please, we've got to give him a giant round of applause. This is really good, good, good stuff. Uh, we also um, started, uh, when we got here, we started working on our, on our trout hatchery upgrade plan. We're in the process of $30 million in upgrades, which will take several years. Right now, we're working on Bowden Fish Hatchery, uh, which with $10 million worth of upgrades, will, which will allow us to close other hatcheries why we work on uh, why, why, why we work on them? We're hoping, Governor. We, we try to put between 750 and 800 thousand pounds out, and I have Zach Brown here to correct me if I'm wrong. When all these are completed, we're hoping to be putting in about one one million to 1.2 million dollars worth of or two million pounds worth of fish. So we'll, we'll upgrade Thank about you. 20 or 30 percent. So that's that's right. pretty significant. That's right. Um, but one of the things that we do, it takes dollars to make all this go around, and we get. Our hunters and fisher, men and women in West Virginia and surrounding states are so important to the program, Governor. The monies that we use to purchase lands uh, come from that and Pittman Robinson money. So it's important that we, that we do everything we can to try to sell additional hunting and fishing licenses. As you can see from the, from the board up here, this year um, hunting and fishing license sales were up for the first time in six years. Uh, almost $400,000. Uh, that's, that's really significant because across the country, most states are seeing their hunting and fishing license sales plummet. And for us to turn it around, not only did we not lose money this year, we actually made more money. And one of the things that we did to try to jumpstart 2020 is to come up with a promotion um, that Chelsea and I worked on, and we worked on it with the governor, to what can we do to get people to purchase their license a little bit earlier. We usually start selling our hunting and fishing licenses for the upcoming year, the middle of December because we have hunting seasons that carry on into the first of the year. But what can we do to get people to go ahead and purchase them early so a bad weather uh, or something comes up that they, that they go ahead and purchase? So we decided to give away some prizes uh, and, and to entice people. Last year, Governor, we sold $221,000 worth of licenses for, for 2019. This year, with this promotion, we sold over $600,000. Oh, gosh. <laughs> promotion, we told everyone who renewed their license in the month of December that their name would be put into a drawing 
for the chance to win not only a lifetime hunting and fishing license, which is the grand prize drawing, but also a free night stay and gift bags in one of our beautiful West Virginia State Parks. I have four of those individuals here today whose names were chosen. If you could come up here. Now, we've got to get Chelsea now. Yes. Chelsea now. Joe, Tammy, if y'all come up here with you know. Just, just stand right here and tell us are these your winners? These are, these are some of the winners. Yes, got over Okay, winners some, some of the winners. Yes, sir. How'd y'all pull this off? <laughs> <laughs> Their names were drawn over 10,000. Way to go. There you go. Good job. Good job. Go ahead. And so the, you folks, a couple of you have won the gift bags, but the governor said that wasn't enough. So you guys are all going to go home with a free stay at a West Virginia State Park as well. So we'll give you these gift bags. There you go. Yes, please, please. So I'm going to read off the names, Governor, of who won what, and um, and if the last name that I call will be the one who won the lifetime hunting and fishing license. Um, Are we here? One at one? Uh, you'll find out here in just a second. <laughs> All right. Um, Roland Albright from Branchland, West Virginia, won a, a weekend at Holly River State Park. William Hamilton from Bridgeport, West Virginia, won a weekend at Cacapon Lodge. Mark Robinson from Brandywine, West Virginia, won a weekend and gift bag at Babcock State Park. Larry Powell from Glenwood, West Virginia, won a weekend at North Bend State Park. Stephen Albright from, from Ona, West Virginia, won a tour, a boat tour, and a, a day at Wenderhassett Island. Dustin Rexroad from Durban won two zipline tour tickets and overnight lodge at Pipestown State Park. Shannon Brown from Craigsville won an overnight lodge at room at Blackwater State Park with two sled run tickets. Justin Thaxton from Charleston won a two night stay at Tiger Lake State Park. Lillian Faulkner from Shinston, West Virginia won a weekend at Lost River State Park. Robert Flinner from Charleston, West Virginia, won a weekend cabin at Greenbrier State Park. Uh, Joseph Gill from Beckley, West Virginia, won a weekend at Lost River. And did I get them all? Tammy Collins from Ona, West Virginia, won a weekend at Hawks Nest. <laughs> and Governor, the winner this year of the lifetime hunting and fishing license is Christopher Davison from Fairmont, West Virginia. My he won the lifetime. He's in the oh, what He's are you in the Davidson Brothers band. Right. And I called him, and he said it was a scam. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope you're putting this on TV <laughs> <laughs> because it hurt my feelings. <laughs> because I was so happy that we both yeah. got in it and we had no idea. Yeah, it's and all it's, it's all J JMT who runs our electronic yeah. licensing system. Put, Put all the names and, and sign them in the yeah. So out of ten thousand, I'm so glad I didn't because I'm sixty five this year. Oh, you're, you're, <laughs> and I would have gave it to somebody else. Well, that's really great. That's really, really and and let me tell you this. You know, it's great that you've won and that's really nice and it's incredible that these that they're doing a promotion and that's really nice. But I thank you for loving the West Virginia woods and the West Virginia streams and, and just being an outdoorsman. You know, truly, and I tell this to Steve, I tell this to people all the time, you've never known anybody that's been in the woods more than me. It's hard to believe. It's just, it's almost impossible to believe. But nobody loved the outdoors like I did. And they're, now I'm all beat up a little bit and everything, and I've got to ride around in a four-wheeler and all that and half kill myself on that. But, uh, but uh, you know, I, I, I love it because the beauty is just unreal. And a lot of people say, well, well, you know, don't you go on vacations and don't you go all over the world and whatever and hunt and everything? And I could, but I don't. Because this right here is the prettiest and the best of all. You know, I, I say it over and over, but crawling around on a native trout stream with a five foot fly rod and you're just pulling the fly back and shooting it on the water and the stream not any hardly any wider than this right here and catching a native brook trout that's that long and you feel like you've caught a tarpon. 
And, uh, and, and, you know, but nevertheless, all the aspects of the West Virginia woods and, and streams and stuff are wonderful. So that's what I thank you for more than anything, your love of that. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Ah. And you all have their certificates with your, with your park stays if you want to watch a weekend at the parks, and Chelsea has all those in there. Let's get all of our pictures together, and then we'll get a picture with just the winner, too. Okay? All of us. Let's get it right here. Oh now, I want to be with you women. I don't, I don't want to be with you. Y'all look good. You make, you make me look good. Now. Of course. <laughs> okay. Now we got to get our picture made. Just me and you. Just me and you. Just All me right. and you because we got a winner here. <laughs> Thank you. No, congratulations. So nice to meet you. Hey, it's my pleasure in every way. Thank you. Listen. Wait, we got one more thing. One more thing, and Chelsea, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, uh, and this, this is primarily for the media and anybody's here, so y'all get, y'all get really dialed into what I'm telling you here. In the last little while, I'm going to, I'm going to wait till we can get everybody all dialed in. In the last little while, We've been working on a bunch of bunch of stuff. And Chelsea's going to have a big powwow tomorrow. Is that correct? Is it tomorrow? Over the next couple of days. Yeah. Over the next couple of days. And Chelsea has an announcement that's on our way. And she'll be sharing more information with you in the days to come. But we've been able to through our efforts to, to really, all together, we've got a major tourism announcement that's on the way. So you're going to be happy with it, and it's just, it's just the beginning of what can come after that and everything, but uh, she'll share more with you in the days to come, but I just want to tell you that I, I can't stand it. I'm just waiting to, so she can tell you. So nevertheless, uh, just remember that. We've got, we've got more good stuff coming to West Virginia. All right, thank y'all.